How to create business application using QuintaDB service. QuintaDB is an online service for creating custom database applications for business and personal use. You will be able to collect data, automate and analyze business processes, and share your applications with other users. To start using the service, open the QuintaDB.com website. On the main page, you'll see a sign-up form. You can create a free account using email, phone number or login. And specify a password. You will use this data to enter the system. Pressing Create Free Account button, you accept Terms of Service and that you have read our data policy, which is available by the link. Also, you need to accept the cookie terms at the bottom of the page. Also, you can use Google or Twitter profile to sign up. Click on the button to create a free account. You will be taken to the application creation page. But first, you can edit your account. In this menu, you can increase the font size and enable the dark theme of the site. Change your personal profile information. View statistics and payment history. Change the service settings. And access to the support section. To add personal information, select Account. The service offers to add your email or phone number to activate your account, receive notifications, exported files and recover your password in case of loss. On the account page, you can enter your email, name, contact information and upload your avatar. If you purchase a paid plan, you will have the option to upload your company logo and favicon tab icon to change the standard QuintaDB icon and make your application more personalized. In the Billing Address tab, you can specify your company name and billing information that will be used for the payment and will be indicated in the invoice after the payment. In the Other tab, you can open the sign-in slot, see your account ID, registration date and delete your account. Don't forget to click on the Save Changed button to update the information. For additional settings, select Settings in the Account menu. Here you can change the date format, time zone and interface language. If you already have an application, you can choose the app sorting method. Please note, you will not be able to change the application's order using the drag and drop method if one of these options is activated. In the settings, select the start page. When you log in, you will be taken to a page with all applications by default. But if you select the open application item, you will be taken to the specified application next time you log in. In the Notifications tab, you can choose which notifications you want to receive by email and inside the system from the QuintaDB service. Payment reminders and resource limits expiration, for example. Let's go back to creating applications. To do this, select the Applications item in the Account menu. QuintaDB offers you three different ways to create an application. Create a new application, import data, and use ready-made template applications. An application is a structured dataset with various tools for working with it. In order to create a new application, you need to specify the application and your first form names. After creation, you will be taken to the form builder. Here, you can add fields to the form. A form is a tool that allows the user to enter information into the database. All data goes into a table that is created automatically along with the form. To view the data, you need to open the records menu. 
you can enter data into the database directly from your account in the QuintaDB system or using widgets. A form or table widgets can be integrated separately into a website or portal. To do this, go to the form widget or table widget menu. This can be done via the side menu, where you can quickly switch between models and a list of your forms and tables. In the Form widget menu, you can change the design of the form, select the elements colors, background image, font, and even upload a CSS file with your own styles. To integrate the widget, open the Integration tab and copy the embed code. In the Applications menu, you can change the view from Tile to List and select the number of applications per page. This can be done in the left side menu on a desktop or using the menu in the upper left corner on a smartphone. Also, in this menu you can restore the backup copy of the application and create folders. This can be useful if you have a lot of apps and you need to sort them. Through the context menu with three dots, you can move the application to a folder, clone the application, make a backup, delete, and move to another account. You can rename your application and choose a personal icon for it at any time. You can watch videos on our channel about creating a new project and creating applications by importing data from CSV and XLS. See the links in the description. Now, let's consider other possibilities with an already created application. The template apps will help us with this. These are ready-made solutions for business and non-commercial projects, which we regularly update. You can choose any suitable application and click on the Install button. After installing the application, you will be taken to the portal. On the QuintaDB service, the portal is created along with the application. A portal is a presentation of application data with a dashboard and a customized workplace with the ability to configure the user access rights. A link to more detailed video about the portal model you will find in the description section. This application already has the configured portal menu with dashboard but you can customize them and change the structure at any time. Click on the Edit Application link. You will be taken to the Application Models page. For example, if you need to change any form, go to the Form model. To change the data, go to the Tables or Reports model. Also, you can customize charts, maps, calendars and newsletters. To change the project settings, click on the Settings tile. Here, you can select the default portal. Each application can have multiple portals. If you activate the option Add each newly created model to the application's default portal, all new models, tables, forms, reports and others will be added to the portal that you have chosen as the default portal. In the project settings, you can disable models that you do not need in this application. For example, if you do not plan to use maps and mailings, to do this, just uncheck the box and save the changes. You can also choose which of the models to open by default. For example, if you are working with only one report, select the forms model, the table and the report. Let's go back to our portal. To do this, click on the Open Portal link. This link will open the portal that you selected by default in the application settings. In the portal menu, you can change the menu. Here you can add new and modify menu elements. In addition, you can select the start page of your portal. Let's add a new menu item. You can create a new section or add a submenu to an existing section. You need to specify a name and optionally select an icon for the section or submenu. Next, you need to select the model. 
It can be a table or report, a form, calendars, charts, files, newsletters, maps, URL links, or your own HTML page. For example, let's create a new menu section with the report and also create a submenu with an HTML page. There are no HTML pages in this portal yet, so let's create a new one. You need to specify a title and create a page using an editor or paste the ready-made code into the source. When the page is created, a new tab will appear in the menu. Here you can add new, edit and delete pages. Let's go back to the menu section and add a submenu with our HTML page. In the menu tab, you can edit and delete items and change their order using the drag and drop method. For each portal, you can add a dashboard. A data dashboard is an information management tool that visually analyzes and displays widgets, metrics and data points to monitor the health of a business or specific process of your applications. To edit the dashboard, select the appropriate section in the portal menu. Here you can change the theme, color scheme, choose an icon and title for the dashboard. By changing the theme, you also change the order, size and position of blocks for dashboard widgets. To add a new widget to the dashboard, just click on the block with the plus icon. You can specify the icon and widget's name. Select a widget, like a table, form, chart, calendar, map and widgets that are available only to the portal, such as the number of records, sum or average for a table or report, growth of values for a table or report. You can also insert your HTML page into the block, for example, a commercial banner. Using dashboards in your applications, you can analyze and view the most important data in one place. Changing the theme, you will change the arrangement of menu items and color scheme for your portal menu. Themes will also be regularly updated on the QuintDB service with new updates. Your application is ready to use. It's time to share it with the users. In the Users section in the Portal menu, you can add the users to the portal with different access levels. For more information about setting access rights for the users and user groups, see the link in the description. Make sure that authorization is enabled in your portal in the portal settings before sharing a link to the users. To share a link to the portal, go to the integration tab. Here you can copy the direct link to the portal or get the embed code into your site.
If you want to expand the capabilities of the application and integrate your database with other services, you can use the QuintaDB API or integrate your database using the Zapier service. For more information, visit quintadb.com.